Sometimes you are engaging non-believers from your Christian convictions, and you ask them to give you an argument for their belief, and they say something like this, well, you're the one making claims, so you're the one who has the burden of proof. You ever heard this before? That's actually not how burden of proof works on a debate level. Burden of proof is designed to overcome presumption in debate. Presumption is what everyone in the debate presumes is the position of the status quo. I have a longer video on this called, Do Christians Have the Burden of Proof? You should check it out. This leads me to a good response. Again, someone says to you, well, you're the one who bears the burden of proof. Here's your response. Why should presumption side with you? This is not only a technical question with regard to debate, it's also a legitimate question to ask. And what this question does is it forces your opponent to do what they were probably looking to avoid doing, which is make an argument. Hope that helps. Make sure to like and subscribe to get more videos like this.